हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लर्न आई टी टूडे सेशन आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सिक्योरिटी एट्रीब्यूट फीचर दैट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस इन वैनकूवर रिलीज ऑफ सर्विस नाउ प्लीज वॉच माई वीडियोज टिल द एंड फॉर कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड फर्दर एन सी वॉट इज सिक्योरिटी एट्रीब्यूट थ्रू सिक्योरिटी एट्रीब्यूट वी कैन राइट अ सेट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी रूल्स इन अ सिंपलर वे और राइट सो लेट सी हाउ वी कैन यूटिलाइज दिस फीचर All right so let's proceed to our incident table first and you will understand what it is all right so i have clicked on incident all and like i will open one of the incident so currently this is our incident form all right and we have multiple fields so it is about security rules so what i will be doing is like i will be utilizing this field truncate field Uh, for uh, showing a demo how we can utilize security attributes feature all right so let's uh, move to our security rules for this uh, incident and try to create one security rules so first i will show you security rules how we used to do in earlier days all right so currently new button is not visible because i have to activate elevate role here security admin is checked and now i will see a new button for creating acls all right now you i will click on new button and i will try to create a new acl on uh, that truncate field so i will be selecting operation as right and i will select the table as incident and a field as truncate field all right and just for role it doesn't matter but just i have adding itl role but what i will do now i will write a small script here as well so suppose uh, i will add gs dot get user dot is member of this particular group so what what that group could be so let me open a group so i will select one of the group uh, so that i can use that for a testing purpose so this is the group i will be using for testing answer so this is the small script i have written all right so if current logged in user is member of this particular application development then only that user will be able to write on that particular field all right so i will click on save all right so i have clicked on save and now we will try to test how it appears for uh, the member of this group and as well as who is not part of this group all right so currently it will not work work for me because admin override is done for acl so i will test with other users so currently you will see this incident i am able to edit this field but the people who will be not part of application development group they will not able to write on this field suppose i will impersonate able twitter so he is not part of application development group so as soon as i have impersonated this able twitter now i will reload this form and you will see this field uh, he is not able to write on this field because he is not part of that application development group so now impersonate with the person who is part of that group so this andrew is the person who is part of that group application development so let's see what happens
now you will see this person is able to write on this truncate field right so this is implemented using HC ACL and we have wrote some small script but instead of that we can create a security attributes or use a security attributes for implementing this feature all right so let me click on elevate role and security admin again so that I can update my ACL which I have created and now what I will do is like I will remove this small script and now what I will use it like you can see this is a security attribute condition which they have introduced as a feature in Vancouver release all right so I will select the group here and group is application development so I have removed the script and now I will save this and this is the security attributes condition group is application development all right so now it will be executing same like it was executing earlier so this this uh, able to will not able to write on that field and Andrew will be able to write on that field all right so we can test it quickly again so I will impersonate with able and he will again will not able to write on this field see and I will impersonate with the uh, Andrew and now I will reload the form and you will see Andrew will be able to write on this truncate field all right so this uh, using security attributes we can uh, eliminate the use of scripting for some of the use use cases all right so this is all about security attributes how you can uh, utilize uh, to write a set of access uh, security rules for your implementation or for your anything whatever you are uh, doing related to security rules all right so please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it Thank you.